Hi, my name is Shannon Travick, and I am the Traveling Canadian Nomad. Now you might be wondering what I'm doing here in the shower and whatnot, and to say, well tonight is my art show, so I thought it would be appropriate if I got cleaned up and uh, looked a little presentable for tonight's show. Alright, so the purpose of this video is to show you guys what was actually in the art show. And at the same time, show you guys what got sold. And then at the same, same time, show you guys what didn't got sold. In case that you guys wanted to have a hands out of original, you still have a chance to buy some. Some art might still be available. So, put on your fancy shoes and get ready, because we're heading to the Nomad Art Show. Well, hey guys, welcome to my art show. This is just a little video for you guys that couldn't make it to the art show and make it seem like, you know, that you were actually here. So, follow me, let's take a look at what we got here. Come on. All right, so this is one of my paintings here that I got uh, in the art show. I like it just for the fact of how simplistic it is and the shadows that show the girl's face. Then over here, we got uh, this terrifying thing made of actual horse hair. The skull here is casted from an actual deer skull and wrapped with a uh, burner twine. So it's a nice candle holder, I think, for people that like to make their house a little bit gothic. And over here we have a wall of all my prints, different types of uh, stuff that I've uh, done over the few weeks and months and whatnot. And a few of them are old, but then I tweaked them up and repainted them and cleaned them up and everything. We got some color ones, we've got some girls, we've got some trees, we've got some birds, we've got some trees. I like birds and trees a lot. And then, we come here to your uh, childhood nightmares of these masks. Uh, I really enjoyed making masks because I find them as a, as a kid very safe and very uh, protective in a sense. Uh, I did not mean for them to come out so GD freaking terrifying. They were really white and bright, so I thought, you know, smudging some black to kind of just dull them down a bit. And after I did the first one, then I realized how terrifying they were. Then we come over here to uh, sculpture Odin. He was uh, one of the guys I did way back in the day. I cleaned them up, mounted them, gave him a patch and an eye, and then we got Odin. The one thing I like about him too the most is that he doesn't have an eye under his patch. Some tiny details, you know? Then we come over here to some more of my prints. Uh, these girls were just a uh, stencil. That's it, they are a stencil that I made. And again, right, I wanted to add color into this show and show people that I can make stuff that's not horrifically uh, terrifying in some sense. So I came up with this attractive looking girl in a nice pose and just splash paint to it. It's fun, it's nice, and I think it looks good. And then what we have over here are some more of the prints that I made. But these ones are framed, just so people can kind of see what it looks like uh, having my artwork framed. And I think it looks very nice. Yes. Then we move over here to this painting. This is one of the paintings that I spent at least a good week on, kind of thing, just trying to get the fine details. I'm going to hopefully in the future maybe make this picture into an actual huge sculpture. Maybe. Then we have this guy over here. Uh, this is a basswood and an old uh, fence post that I took from my uh, farm. And then uh, some metal I found around the house to make the crown. And you guys weren't here for it. We just sold one of my pieces to somebody. I don't even know who they were. So a non-family member or friend has purchased my art, meaning that I am a now a real artist. I have validation. And it was this guy and the uh, Skull King that just got sold right, right now. Kind of We move down here to the two pr uh, two paintings that I got here, the, the same prints that you've seen of the girl with the splash art and whatnot. This is the same stencil that I used for both of these. Just, uh, you know, one black, one white kind of thing, and I, I think it's very interesting. Then we move down here to some more masks. Again, are my kind of standpoint kind of thing, right? Each guy is uh, uniquely different, but then the same kind of face to it. And then here on the center table, we have some uh, busts that I made back at Beale. 
Uh, I cleaned them up, added a few things like the lock and the metal and the keys and the gears and this guy's head. All three of them are kind of an idea standpoint on the whole idea making process, you know? And then surrounding it is uh, different cards that I made just for fun. Art can be fun sometimes. That was the Nomad Art Show. Now I just want to give a shout out to people that definitely gave a hand to uh, making this show possible. To start off, everyone down at the Coffee Culture. Matt Harbour and his mom Mrs. Harbour for letting us uh, go down in the basement and set up this show. To my mom and dad who are always constantly helping me out. To my sister Kendra Dravick who came down to the show putting the food out and pricing and all the artwork and stuff like that. I thank you. The Cameron Brothers, Brennan Cameron and Sean Cameron. Last but not least, Alex Bennett who came out and helped uh, set up the show and everything. So guys, I thank you all for making this show a great success. I thank the people that came out to the show and to everyone who didn't have a chance to come out if you're interested in buying some uh, art then uh, give me a shout out and I can send you a link to where everything's gonna be set up soon hopefully next week's episode is going to be featuring uh, Andrea Huminick at the Yo-Yo's Yogurt Cafe as always I'm Tanner Dravick the traveling Canadian nomad saying I'll see you on the road Canada